picking up where we left off on page 24, second column, halfway down, I have a star noted that says time spent with the individual patient should be recorded in the patient's record. Again, that's page 24, second column on the right, halfway down. I also have starred the last paragraph there. Time spent in activities that occur outside of the unit or off of the floor may not be reported as critical care since the individual is not immediately available to the patient. Those are two very good areas to note when you're dealing with critical care. If you look on page 25, there is a little table there that helps you with critical care codes and how to assign them. Underneath 99291 and 99292, I want you at the end of the code description, I guess is where I have written in, six years plus. So they need to be six and over. I have that written under 99291 and 99292. So six years plus for critical care and using these two codes. They have to be six years of age or older. Again, there's a great example there. You can see the 99292 uh, has the plus sign in front of it. It's an add-on code. You wouldn't ever code it by itself. You code it along with another code, which in this case is 99291. Okay, turn the page. We're in nursing home now on page 26 and 27. On page 26, you see initial nursing facility care, new or established patient, it doesn't matter. I kind of have starred that first paragraph. That's a really good first introductory paragraph uh, to star. And then the codes here for initial visits. 304, 305, and 306. I have initial circled in every single one of those three codes. And then, of course, you can guess underlined three key components in every single one of those three codes. Okay? So two things there on each one of those codes. Then we get to subsequent nursing facility care. And again, we talked about subsequent earlier in the hospital. We have subsequent in the nursing home, too. And I wrote the word rounds there in quotes. Uh, behind that because that's all we call it. Uh, the doctor has to do his nursing home rounds today, the, the patient that, you know, he or she has to go see. So I call these rounds visits 99307, 308, 309, and 310. I have underlined two of these three key components in every single one of those codes. Two of the three key components. Page 28. 99315 and 99316, again, very easy. Nursing facility discharge day management, either 30 minutes or less, and I have that underlined, or more than 30 minutes, and I have that underlined. Underneath your green title here, domiciliary, rest home, a boarding home, custodial care services, I have written in assisted living too. There's codes here for new patients. There's codes for established patients. Um, again, you can underline here these three key components in 99324, 325, 326, 327, and 328. All of those require the three key components. And then for the established patient, not as tight, 334, 335, 336, and 337 here, two of three key components can be underlined in all of those codes. If you turn the page, let's see, I don't have any notes now until prolonged services on page 32. On page 32 in the first column, about halfway down the first paragraph, I sort of have this starred and, and circled. It says, the, the sentence uh, where I started highlighting is, this service is reported in addition to the primary procedure and any other services provided at the same session. Kind of have that area circled and starred. That's a good idea uh, to read through that. Um, again, we have a little chart that helps us um, code for prolonged services, so that's nice. As you can see, all the prolonged services codes, 993545556 and 57, all have the plus sign. They are all add-on codes, which means you add them to another code. 
They will not be reported by themselves. Okay, it won't won't work. Won't go through the system. It won't get paid. Um, turn to page thirty-seven. I'm just about done here. On page thirty-seven, preventative medicine services is a green title here, um, and I have this starred, and, and you can read through this yourselves when we get to that area. But underneath there, I have written annual physical. Hey, if you need to go in for your annual exam or your annual physical, a lot of different places call it a lot of different things, but it's a preventative medicine service. Hey, that's what we call it in, in CPT and in coding is preventative medicine. So if you're coding a, a note that says, um, you know, uh, Mildred came in today for her annual physical. Well, that's preventative med. Okay, we want to go to the preventative med services and, and look that up in the index in your CPT books. So annual physical I have written down here. I have it starred. Um, and next to new patient, our red heading there on the right hand column on page 37, I have written right beside there by age. Preventative med is really easy to code. You just have to know how old the patient is. Okay, so if I bring uh, my son in for a preventative med or like a wellness or annual physical because it's covered for my insurance one of those a year and he's 12 and he is a new patient I would code 99384 it's under new patient age 12 through 17 years all I have to know is how old the patient is okay so it's by age for new patient if you turn the page for established patient, I wrote by age next to that as well. These are super easy. You just have to know what type of visit it is. And as soon as you realize that it's preventative medicine or an annual physical or an annual exam, find out how old the patient is and you can find your code. Okay? Super easy. Um, as you can see, uh, page 39 is kind of interesting. Non-face-to-face -face services. There's actual heading and codes here for telephone services. Um, thank goodness uh, we don't charge usually around here at least uh, for telephone services or you know a telephone visit with the doctor. Doesn't mean we can't because we definitely have codes that we can use for those. So that might be something we see in the future. Um, I don't have any other notes here. Just let me look here for one second. I don't have any other notes written in my book then for the rest of the red evaluation and management section. Um, there will be videos on every section throughout now. These are just notes and that's how you can tell when I, you see a video that says notes then get your code book and get ready with your pencil and we'll go through and, and write everything in. Again, we use these this semester. We use the notes to help you when you're testing, when, you know, doing your homework, anything else. Next semester, we use the same book, use the same notes. When you get ready to graduate and get a job, you're done with your coding, you have this coding book, you go to work and you get a new coding book because it'll be a new year by then. Take the two books and write write your notes, transfer them over into the new book. It will really, really help you.